Well, we haven't got very far on our adventure just yet. It's been about a mile, mile and a half, and we've slipped a tie rod. Uh, nothing's broken per se. We just lost a bolt off of it. So Taylor's down here earning his bread. Uh, we had an extra bolt, but he's up here manning the wheel. At least we lost that on a relatively flat portion of the trail. That's Pigpen Canyon down there. And we are just getting started. That view goes all the way up. And that's where we're headed. So yeah, wish us luck. <laughs> all right, the day begins. Trail sign number one goes right here. As long as there's not a rock right here. Trail sign number one is up, Pigpen Bypass. This goes down, this is a set of switchbacks, down into Pigpen Canyon, all the way down towards the highway, and back up towards uh, White Tank. Beautiful trail, and now folks know where it is. Pretty awesome, on to the next one. Trail signs, number two, three, four, five. Check it out, we're at White Tank. We can now tell where Ezra's is. Timber Tank, Stank Tank. Uh, say hi, Whitney. Hi. Catching our breaths from doing a lot of rock barring and getting those posts in the ground. So we're at White Tank. If you couldn't already tell from the sign, it's a heck of a drought year right now. The tank's down eight, nine foot. Those willows might have to be removed as well. We're starting to get big enough to pull a lot of water. Taylor's over here strapping down, getting everything ready for the next set. More adventure, more trail signs. Let's go. Well, we haven't made it very far. It's lunchtime. Still at White Tank, and we're eating fruit smiles. Vienna sausages. Rice Krispies. And no, applesauce. She's, she's littered. Picked it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. but we've got some storm clouds coming up. They're making noise back there. Let's see if they come that direction. If y'all haven't been out here, if you're not sure what White Tank is or Forbidden or what these places are on the trail sign, look us up, Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch. Uh, this year's kind of kind of down the drain, but 2021's coming up. Lots of adventure. Finish up lunch and get back on the trail. Try not to get rained on. Pick up your trash, Whitney. Look, she's doing it again. I told her, I told her not to. Needle Rock here at the bottom of the Green Trail. One of the few places you can do that. The weather's deteriorating a bit. I don't know if y'all can see that way down there. Needle Rock. This camp's pretty much known for that. Alright, just 
left back on gate. We're now heading towards Ezra's bed ground. We started to sprinkle on us, act like it wants to rain. Not a terrible thing. We need the rain out here, so we'll put up with it. Just do a little bit of four wheel drive, taking our time. More signs. There's Whitney and Tanner over here on the side. They're singing show tunes for me, so it's been pretty good. We tried. Oh, we're done with it. <laughs> a little bit of rain on the hood there. It's starting to dry off. A bit of a side trip. A great big pine tree fall down in the middle of the road. Been driving around it for a while. Chopped it up, moved it over. A couple big pieces back there. I think I'm gonna make into a bench. So I started cutting those. Come back and work on that later. But the rain's still out here. Still grumbling at us. See if anything makes of it. Time for some more miles. highest gate we have on the property right now. It's around 6,000 foot, one of the best places to get some cell phone coverage, but it's named after a land dispute. Uh, they were having some problems with the boundaries, so it's named Haygate. Pretty view. All right, guys, the last of the posts to put up here today. Got a few more to do tomorrow. But check that out. Clear signs, Madeira Circle H. If you don't know what that is, check out the website. It's absolutely phenomenal. Ezra's is where we came from. So uh, came from Ezra's over Hate Gate. Put a gate up there, it's a fall ago. And we're going towards Westgate. We've got a few signs to hang up there on the gate at Westgate to give some folks some directions and then we're heading you know, just a little bit further down the road for the night stop. More to come tomorrow, more to do. I already accomplished quite a bit, so hope you all have enjoyed it so far. It's been absolutely fantastic. Whitney's out here, Taylor's out here. So yeah, working vacation, always a good thing. So it's been asked, why, why the wooden signs? Why route these in? And the reason is that we can make these things at any time. We have so many trails out here and so many turnoffs, and we're always building new trails. There's always new stuff out here. So the ability to go down to the shop, use some scrap lumber, route into it, use some old spray paint, and make a new sign and put it out here is extremely important. Now we've had a few folks bring out metal signs over the years that have been dented or bent up or scratched some paint out. And then all of a sudden the sign says the wrong thing and just the vast number of them. If a sign goes missing or again, it gets defaced, to replace that sign, to find the same style of sign, the same font, the same color, the same shading. And after a while, you have 15 different styles of sign for the same trail. And it starts to look a little ratty out there. So this is what we come up with. If anything comes up, you can always put more information on it. It's pretty versatile. It takes, just takes a little bit of uh, linseed oil every once in a while. But you definitely know that Madeira is out this way now. Ezra's to the right, West get off to the left, and folks can get get around a lot easier. A lot more peace of mind. Alright, there's a new sign. Madeira's off to the right. We don't want to go to Madeira. We want to go to Westgate. There we go. That's 
called Count Concrete Dam. It's not a very original name. It hadn't been sealed in about 30 or 40 years. Looks like we got some rain. It's been dry for the last month and a half, so that's good. It just won't last very long. If anybody out there knows anything about concrete sealing or dam sealing or soil sealing, anything like that, hit us up, because that's, that's on the list. Water out in the desert's important. And this is making outstanding outback camp, so we'll work at it. All right, pulled over for a moment. Back here behind me is what's called the Biscuit Knob. Now it's called that on an old map. Go ahead and put a kind of a screen showing y'all what I'm looking at. It's a 1940s map made by Spy Plane and it's been written on by an old rancher. It's, it's no longer here. But here in this area, there's the other part of what's called uh, Bear Cave Mountain. There's an area on the map and I'll zoom in for y'all and show you right now. But it says something like Chalk Gods right here. Now there's a concrete dam down there that we would like to seal up. This is all Buffalo Trail property right now. But we're currently trying to find something. We don't know what it is. So Taylor's out this way. He's probably gone about a quarter mile over that hill. Whitney's down here looking around. We have rhyolite about 100 foot above us. Rhyolite below us. That's the hard rock out here. And then, I'll get all over here real fast. The chalk is volcanic ash. So it'd be better to say ash gods because it's not talc, it's not chalk, but it's this stuff. And we have that layer every once in a while. Pretty little peak up there. But that layer is gonna persist on both sides of this hill. So we're kind of looking around, trying to dredge up, figure out, you know, what it means. That handwriting is a little rough as well. So if y'all can decipher that and it says something different, you tell me. Or if I just don't know what the heck a chalk god is uh, and that, that means something else, y'all tell me that too. But right here looking at it, trying to decipher it, unless this is some cowboy's joke from like 70 years ago. Ha ha, I'll just write chalk gods in here and some fool is gonna try and find it someday. I don't know. If we find it, you'll know. Until then, check out that view. Beautiful. The actual uh, observatories, McDonald's Observatory is well over there. You can actually see it when we're riding out here on horseback. So, take care, guys. We'll see. Looks like we need to go ahead and rebuild that one. It's kind of working. This is Westgate. Go ahead and put some signs here. That needs some work. One of the reasons why we're out here doing this project is because of these metal signs. This is somebody's good intentions right here. Uh, we're at Westgate. We're about a, two miles away from Ezra's bedground. From here, you might think this is Ezra's. You go to Ezra's down this road, Ezra's back this way. Yeah. And Madeira. We're about six miles from Madeira. Uh, Madeira's back, way back that way. So it really doesn't give you good directions. So we're replacing these things. We're about to hang some good signs up here on this gate. And take these things down, get an upgrade. So not only are they giving bad directions, but pull them out of the ground. <laughs> you can make them point wherever you want to. Well, it'll stay. You can tell that we're not really good with wire. I wouldn't but call us fence guys. But. No, we're not fence guys. And then I didn't put Westgate on the back here. It's definitely clear from the other side though. That, that should work. It's pretty clear if you go to the right, my right, Madeira, left, on over to Jenkins. And there are a few other trailheads like the Silver Trail, 
the repeater tower up here on the hill. And then uh, the high silver goes back here to no trail tank as well. So this is kind of a kind of an area that's heavily trafficked. Let's we'll put a water drop over here. We normally have some water back here for the high adventure times. And uh, yeah, another sign up. Keep on doing it. This is the last sign post for the day. We put this up even though we don't have a sign here. This is Ezra's bedground. We do have some metal signs that say Ezra's. So that'd be the first Ezra's sign that actually labels Ezra's. But uh, this, is, this is kind of a promise to continue making those signs and to keep on tagging these trails out here. So more projects to come. Always something to do on a piece of property. The trails to clear and maintain, signs to put up, um, places to visit, awesome adventures with good friends. So guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video of us going around. Sorry that I'm out of out of breath and rock barring through this uh, this solid ash right here. So hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about it. And uh, as always, well, till next time. Oh, one last thing. I know that I've mentioned Ezra several times here. Wrapped it up. Didn't want to leave it as just the name of a place without giving you a little more information. So back here we have a stock tank. Real nice, beautiful view off over the mountains. There is a latrine back here, a two-seater. It was made uh, in the last decade, decade and a half, so pretty nice. Again, good view. But one of the best things about Ezra's Bedground, not just as a campground itself, but is its history. So all throughout this area, this is uh, kind of the meeting of several several mountains and it's a flat place if you hadn't already noticed watching these videos there's not a whole lot flat out here uh, not not a whole lot that a bulldozer or, or a stick of dynamite had flattened out so if you look right here you can see what's happened some of you already know there's a mono and this is a matate this is where they ground down all kinds of grains probably a lot of acorns and stuff out here and they could also rock boil inside this rock. These holes like this don't just happen. This is your grinding stone. A few chips of arrowheads out here. But this was kind of a meeting point. Uh, they could look out over the place, see different things, and uh, get some game quite a bit, move on through. And this is a pretty old site. Got some cool stuff here. Hopefully someday we'll have an archeological dig or something going on. But uh, yeah, beautiful area absolutely gorgeous area. So if you ever come out here and backpack, you will be out here for a few times, a few days, make sure that Ezra's is on the list because it's absolutely fantastic. You got some more view. Getting Ted of Whitney's over there. Just got done knocking that last hole in. So it's time to go home, guys. Absolutely gorgeous.